Alright, how we doing, folks? Your boy Marcus over here. I hope you guys didn't think I forgot that ghosts exist, man. I've actually been hitting up with some ghosts, a lot of ghosts here lately, man. Uh, especially with the new map packs dropping. Ooh You're not having a chance to play the new map pack with the pirate ships and all that, so it's gonna be good. The maps have been good, man. These maps that have been coming out for ghosts have been good. Wasteland Wednesday, you know, dropping people like it like it's nothing. But these maps have been real good. A lot better than the actual maps that ship with the game, to tell you the truth. It was a little bit goofier, a little bit funnier. Whatever, they got the favela remake. Ah, as favelas, a gente está na favela, no remake. O tri, muito bom, pá. Um, going over there to the World Cup in Brazil, so I think it's coming up. Man, this is an exciting week coming up, man. I mean, you're going to look at this like, you're going to have, actually, let me close my door before I like start yapping over here. Um, You're going to have E3 going on from Monday through like Thursday, you know, trickling into like Friday when all the big press conferences coming in on Monday. Uh, and today we're going to talk about third party titles and I'm excited to see. Um, and then, you know, starting, I think, Thursday the 12th, ain't the World Cup starting? Yeah, Thursday the 12th or 13th. I mean, that's going to be fire. Can we get much higher tonight? Girl, we couldn't get much higher. Yeah, and that's, that's what's up. And then Father's Day, that's always a good day for me. Um, and what does that say? Saint Jean, Saint Jean Baptiste Day in Quebec is also the 24th. Of, I just got a calendar, so I'm all excited and shit. Put some stuff on it. Calendars are cool, man. Calendars are dope, man. You know, you know, you reach a certain level of maturity when you got calendars in your life, dude. That's that's that that's that ish I do like right here. Play a little cooker farm right here on freight uh, with the big old kill streaks that we got over here. A little bit too big to go with the SA over here. I've actually been using the Remington lately, um, but it, I've still been dabbling between the SA. I just feel very comfortable with the SA. Um, not like SA, like Mexican guy, but just the SA, the gun itself. Uh, and I've been doing actually kind of good at Ghost, except for this girl over here. Just lean. And lean with it, rock with it, lean with it. He ain't rocking with it though. He's just leaning with it. That's the problem. Fat Joe not be a big fan there. I think that was the Terror Squad. It was Fat Joe part of the Terror Squad. I don't remember those days, man. Anyway, games we're excited for. Third party games we're excited for E3. So I'm excited to see what Kojima's. Like. Actually, no, I'm not even gonna say the word excited to see what Kojima's gonna bring. What trailer he's gonna bring over there for Metal Gear. He said it's gonna be tough to watch. I. I don't. I mean, Ground Zero was left a sour taste in my mouth. It was just kind of like, meh. Like, all right. I mean, there's a lot of good things here, but what is this? This is just, you know, just to mess around with. Um, you know, and obviously I wasn't expecting a full Metal Gear game. I knew what I was getting myself into. But even then, you know, even with the expectations lowered, you're still kind of like, yeah, all right. Um, and and I understand he's trying to push the boundaries over here, but pushing the boundaries just for pushing the boundaries' sake is not something I'm really in favor of you know i don't want all of a sudden you know that metal gear becomes a series where like oh that's not that crazy stuff happens in uh, yeah i mean crazy stuff does happen in there you know but like right but um but uh you know not just like pushing the boundary for boundary's sake give me a reason as to why this is happening i'm sure kojima is but right now it's kind of coming off as you know like you really have to give that full warning like you can put that at the beginning of the trailer be like you know this isn't meant for all audiences suck it up like, whatever the hell you want to put over there in the trailer. Um, I'm excited for The Division. The Division is probably, like, the next-gen game that I'm most excited for. Uh, the single handling. I know it got postponed or got pushed back. I don't really care. I wasn't really planning on that game coming out anytime soon. I, I, I thought 2015, late 2015 release would be like, I want to see more about it. I want to, I, I want to see that at work right there. Ubisoft Conference in general is going to be pretty baller. God, can't wait to hear more about the new Assassin's Creed, the Unity. I'm excited. I'm not even excited. I'm kind of curious to see what they, because they said that they're not going to, or at least for the way I understood it, is that they're going to bring a, three, a game to the 360 as well, the PS3, but it's not going to be Unity. So does that mean that there's two Assassin's Creed games being made? Is there like a Black Flags 2 for the 360 or whatever? And then the other one, I mean, that just, it seems kind of messed up to me for that to happen. Like, because cause I'd want to play them both, but man, I ain't going to give Ubisoft, like, I ain't going to give Assassin's Creed 100 bucks in November, like, Damn, son, that's 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 kind of rough on on the pocketbook, you know what I'm saying, man? And my name, thing, we ain't tripping about it like that, dog. But man, like, yo, chill out with all that. I'm excited to see if they announce a new Rayman game too. That'd be pretty cool. And it, you know, E3 to me is always more about the games that I don't even know exist. You know, that's why I always enjoy Nintendo's conferences when they come up. Be like, oh yeah, listen, uh, we got one more thing over here. This uh, Donkey Kong game is coming out in two months from now. All right, man, later. Uh, but then it gets postponed. But whatever. Either way. Um, that's always the part that gets me the most excited is what the hell are these guys going to come up with 
that that I don't even like know about yet. Not really excited for that. I don't really care much about that. Um, excited for for the crew to see more about that. You know, I'm excited to see some more fleshed out ideas from a lot of games that we saw last year. Where are these games now? When are they coming out? I'm excited to get some real release dates. Some like actual like yo, this thing is coming out this day uh, on the PS4 side or the PS3 even the PS4 side. I'm excited to see that Last of Us remake. I haven't really seen anything of it. I, I, I can't imagine it could look that much better, can it? I mean, The Last of Us looks so good. What what the hell is the remake going to look like? I mean, like, I, I am tempted. I am tempted to dabble in getting a PS4 just to play that game. Just to play a PS3 game. That's how that's how good that thing is. And obviously for further games down the line. Um, but if they bundle them up together, woo, your boy going to be running out there and buying one. No doubt about it. After I book my flight to Jamaica, I got to go to Jamaica in October. But um, got to have some business over there. But after that, mm, yeah, might have to do that. Um, what else is coming out there that I'm, I'm actually like a little bit excited for? Uh, I don't really expect there to be any Gears coming out here. I, I am full excited, but I wouldn't be surprised if they give you just, you know, just a title screen. You know, Gears of War 4. <laughs> Let's act like Judgment never existed. Uh, and I, you know, I didn't play Judgment yet, so I'm not even going to give it the criticism that most people could have. Um, as far as Advanced Warfare, uh, excuse me. I'm yawning. Oh, man. Dude, I've been up for like days, man. Work has been killing me, man. My apologies. I know I'm not even going to edit it out. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Uh, I am. So I'm strong to keep my eyes open over here. Um, but as far as Advanced Force, I really don't expect too, too much to be revealed out of that. Um, they kind of do their own thing. Uh, you know, looking at how the schedule plays out, they, they might drop something in multiplayer. I mean, it'd be cool if they dropped the multiplayer 83. Um, but I don't think they will. They kind of do their own thing. So I expect, you know, them to have a single player mission. And that's about it. That's all we get. And it'll look great. It'll play great. And, you know, we'll worry about the multiplayer part when we get there. But the single player mission, maybe that'll answer some more questions. You know what I mean? I know they mentioned already, like, boost jumps and stuff like that. But to see actually how the character moves in the single player mission, that'll be very curious to see. You know, maybe I'll probably, probably play, like, the San Francisco level, the Golden Gate Bridge level, whatever the hell that is. Um, and in the EA, EA side of things... Uh, I definitely expect some sort of Mass Effect, you know, release to be out there. Uh, you know, you, I think that, you know, the trilogy pack that they've been mentioning for the next gen, I think that's a very smart move if they do that. Um, they are working on Mass Effect 4. I don't think they'll really give us much of an update aside from that. Um, the EA, the cops and robbers now that they're coming out with. Nah, I, I mean, whatever. I, 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 yeah, they got a very positive um, treatment from people, you know. And, and you know, I, you know, there was two two fronts. So it was like, oh, they're ready to announce a new game. Battlefield 4 still doesn't work. Like, I don't. Know. Beats me if it works or not. I don't play. Uh, but you know, I hear people that play it. They enjoy it. Good. That's that's all I really care about. Look at this dog, man. You gotta knife this dog two times to kill him, man. Come on, I'm a I'm a juggernaut maniac. I'm a maniac, maniac on the floor. Yeah, 57, 57. It was a tight game, so I remember why I saved it. It's not even that, I did pretty good. In, I did all right in this game. But the fact that it was so close really um, brought to light. And, man, I suck at knifing so much sometimes. Oh, golly. Um, but, you know, they got a very positive spin of like, oh, it's cops and robbers. It's great. And I'm like, I don't, I don't really know. I don't. I, that cops and robbers? Like, I used to play that thing when I was in my school. Like, I don't. Like, what? <laughs> Uh, but we'll see. You know, I, I didn't even watch the, tra the leaked trailer yet. Uh, I'm actually just waiting to see what, it, what the hell they show E3. Uh, but I'll probably pull up the, the leaked trailer and whatnot. Uh, but obviously your qu big question is what the hell is it going to be. Um, it's very interesting to see how they play off of that too. Um, with Battlefront, we'll start with Battlefront, which is definitely a game that they're going to be pushing pretty hard over there at E3. Um, so I'll be very curious to see how they manage the two things and how like a company that could barely keep, you know, like, you know, Battlefield 4 doesn't work, but then you're going to also have Battlefield, uh, the Battlefront out there. How many battles are we going to be battling in, dude? There's so much battles. Shout-outs to Jackie Battle. Shout-outs to everybody. 34-11. It's a high-tight game right here. Deuces.